Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. Ortho. So today I'm going to talk about fracture of clavicle. Okay guys. So let's start a discussion on this. Remember, this is the most common is a one you know you know uh, most common fracture at all age groups. Okay, is a common fracture. It's not a most common. It's a common fracture of all age groups. Okay, the two things that can cause the fracture of the clavicle, that's either fall. On the shoulder or on outstretched hand fall on out stretched hand okay so this is regarding the clavicle. So let's talk about the pathoanatomy. You know the junction of the middle and the outer thirds of the clavicle? Yeah, that is the most common site where the fracture can take place. I don't know whether I'm able to draw this, if this is uh, humorous. Okay. And there's a scapula over here. Okay, here is chances of breaking is more the fracture, the site of the fracture. Okay, the most common site is the middle and the outer thirds of the clavicle. Middle and the outer thirds of the clavicle is the commonest site. Okay, the other site, the other uh, site where the fracture might take place is uh, what you call um, outer third of the clavicle. Okay, so the fracture is usually displaced. The outer fracture is usually the outer fracture displaced medially and that downwards because the gravity and the pull of the pectoris major muscle attached to it. Let me draw and show you. Okay, that was wrong. Yeah, okay. If here fracture has taken place and there is a muscle over here, okay, this is a muscle that is a pectoralis. And if this is a humerus, okay, this is a humerus, scapula over here, humerus is here, okay, and sternum over here, and this pulls up. The outer fragment, the outer fragment displaced medially and downwards. You can see over here because of the pectoralis muscle, pectoralis major. Okay. And the inner fragment displaces upwards because of the pull of which muscle? This muscle is sterno. Clado, mastoid muscle, sternocleidomastoid muscle, right? Now, how do you diagnose this disease? Diagnosis is very simple. Okay, there is a history of trauma, very important, followed by pain, swelling, and crepitus can be heard. One must look for any, what you call, evidence of a neurovascular deficit in the upper limb on the affected side, okay? 
So the best way to diagnose is just take an x-ray. Just take an x-ray, okay? So let's talk about the treatment. How do you treat it? The, the beauty of this clavicle is that the fracture of the clavicle unite very easily even if widely displaced. Hence the reduction, you know, reduction of the fragment is not essential. They unite very easily. So that's why we apply a triangular sling. Triangular. Triangular sling. Okay. Once the pain has subsided after putting a triangular sling, the patient can start doing some exercises. Okay. Usually, the pain will subside, you know, after 10 to 14 days of injury. 10 to 14 days of injury. There is another bandage that is known as figure of 8 bandage. figure of eight bandage okay maybe apply to young adult with a displaced fracture okay so you have two options whether it is triangular sling or a figure of eight bandage remember and open reduction is rarely required in the cases of clavicle fracture that's why open reduction will be most of the time will be the wrong answer in USMLE or any other medical board examination right okay let's talk about the complications the two one is early and another is late the early complication the fractured segment of the clavicle can injure the subclavian vessels or a brachial plexus. It can injure subclavian vessels or brachial plexus. The brachial plexus. Okay. And the late complications. The most important, uh, the most common is shoulder stiffness. Shoulder st stiffness. And this shoulder stiffness is very common in elderly patients. So if you want to prevent this later late complication, that is a shoulder stiffness, you have to advise to the patient so as soon as the pa pain subsides, he should start doing some exercise. Okay? And the other one is malunion. Non union, okay. So, these are the complications. So, guys, this was a brief discussion about the fracture of the clavicle, the anatomy, the common side, the diagnosis, treatment, and the complication. I hope you got an idea about this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.